YouTube. It's your boy Gannon and I'm bringing you something different. This is the first GGC gaming news quickies. I'm gonna try to drop these off every morning for you guys just to keep up with the gaming news. And this is some of the gaming news that interests me and hopefully it interests y'all. If you like the video, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if it's your first time here. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you get all my videos and all my content. Just because I'm doing some gaming news, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be dropping my other vids talking about sports gaming and Madden and that RK 2K football game whenever that comes out. I'm going to still be around for that. I'm trying to work overtime for y'all. But without further ado, let's go. And the first bit of news that we're going to quickly talk about is the poor release of The Last of Us Part 1 on PC. I, for one, was looking forward to this because I do not have a PlayStation 5 yet, and I will be getting one soon so I can have the holy trinity of home console gaming. I do have a PC, however, that can run The Last of Us, but I won't be buying this game. The only good thing about this bad release is that in the future or the near future, we're going to get a nice discounted Last of Us that should run very well on a lot of PCs. Sees. Naughty Dog released this statement on Twitter. A hotfix for The Last of Us Part 1 on PC went live earlier today, focusing primarily on stability and performance improvements. Patch notes are here. And let's go over some of these patch notes. There's not much. They fix several performance and hitch related issues impacting some users. Added extra crash diagnostic information to assist the investigating shader building related crashes and other common reported stability issues. It just seems like this is going to be an ongoing problem. And again, the only good thing about a poor launch is in the near future, we are going to get a nice discounted game. And that's what I'm looking for. In gaming entertainment news, the Super Mario Bros. movie is confirmed to have a end credit. That movie already has captured so much of Mario and the essence of how charming that game is. It's so creative, I'm already in love with it. So what do you think that end credit will tease? A sequel, maybe another villain, maybe something in space, who knows? But be sure to wait for that end credit scene. For our last bit of quick gaming news, let's talk about consoles sold. So for the month of February, the PlayStation 5 was the best selling console in the Americas. It roughly sold 252,210 units for the month of February. Those numbers are astounding. The PlayStation 5 now have sold an estimated of 15.2 million units in its lifetime in the Americas. The Nintendo Switch sold almost half of that with 380,077 units with a lifetime of 47.50 million units sold. The Xbox Series X and S sold 317,600 133 units to bring its lifetime to 12.12 .12 million units and the playstation 4 people are still buying it and it sold 3609 units with a lifetime sell of 41.56 million units it's kind of astounding how great the playstation 5 is selling when you have the best first party games and you have a plethora of them those games will sell your console history has proven that and the playstation 5 is no exception games sell consoles yeah your console will survive if it's a great built console and it's very powerful but if you have great games those games will sell your console as we see right here playstation 5 has has a ton of next gen looking great playing single player first party titles where you really can't get anywhere else you could get them on pc but we all know what's happening to the last of us all right so that's my quick gaming news i hope you guys enjoyed it again if you like the content please like the content if you don't like the content hey hate on in the comments give me a dislike that's perfectly fine remember if this is your first time make sure you subscribe since the first episode is going up on friday just remember i will be back monday with more gaming news it's been a pleasure it's your boy getting and we are out of here